Hanak Enoch 98. Woe to them who act impiously, who laud and honor the word of falsehood. You have been lost in perdition and have never led a virtuous life. Woe to you who change the words of integrity. They transgress against the eternal Torah and cause the heads of those who are not sinners to be trodden down upon the earth. In those days you, O righteous, shall have been deemed worthy of having your prayers rise up in remembrance and shall have deposited them in testimony before the angels that they might record the sins of the sinners in the presence of El Elyon. In those days, the nations shall be overthrown, but the families of the nations shall rise again in the day of perdition. In those days, they who become pregnant shall go forth, carry off their children, and forsake them. Their offspring shall slip from them, and while suckling them shall they forsake them. They shall never return to them, and never instruct their beloved. Again, I swear to you, sinners, that crime has been prepared for the day of blood, which never ceases. They shall worship stones and engrave golden, silver, and wooden images. And they shall worship impure ruachot, devils, and every idol in temples, but no help shall be obtained for them. Their hearts shall become impious through their folly, and their eyes be blinded with the fear of their hearts. In their visionary dreams shall they be impious and superstitious, lying in all their actions and worshiping a stone. Altogether shall they perish. But in those days, blessed shall they be to whom the word of wisdom is delivered who point out and pursue the path of El Elyon, who walk in the way of righteousness, and who act not impiously with the impious, they shall be saved. Woe to you who expand the crime of your neighbor, for in Sheol, shall you be slain. Woe to you who lay the foundation of sin and deceit and who are bitter on earth, for on it shall you be consumed. Woe to you who build your houses by the labor of others, every part of which is constructed with brick and with the stone of crime. I tell you, that you shall not obtain peace. Woe to you who despise the extent of the everlasting inheritance of your fathers while your souls follow after idols, for to you there shall be no tranquility. Woe to them who commit iniquity and give aid to blasphemy, who slay their neighbor until the day of the great judgment, for your glory shall fall. Malevolence 
shall he put into your hearts and the ruach of his wrath shall stir you up that every one of you may perish by the sword. Then shall all the righteous and the holy remember your crimes.